Yo, yo guys, what is up? Today, we're just gonna be taking a look at some shoot my guns. So, looks like the Thompson wants to go first. So, these are my this is my miniature army Lego guns. So, here we have the Thompson M1A1, which has a removable clip, and yeah, it does have little sets. Which, yeah. So this is not very detailed weapon, so yeah, shoot it. Yeah, so that was the top set of one one. And so let's get on to the M14. Yeah. The M14 is a Gun that was made for the um, for the U.S. United States Army. Me when they're switching from the M1 Grand to this for well, you can go full auto. Problem with this weapon is, is that oh, I'm shot, so let's just go. Does have the removable magazine? Working sights. Yeah, so let's fire. It. Yeah, I guess that was the M14. And so, let's move on to this classical rifle. I'm not totally knocked down all stuff. The M1 Grand. So, this. So, those are the sights. So, the M1 Grand was introduced in 1939 for the United States Army. When they needed a some kind of that gun, so let's get to shooting. Ching. Ping. Okay, that was the M1 Grand. There it is. But so now let's move on to the Springfield M1903. Springfield M1903 was a gun that was introduced to the United States Army when they needed a new bolt action rifle. So <coughs> Springfield up here. Yeah. God gun. So let's get to shooting, shall we? That was the Springfield M1903. Now, it's time for the Papasher 41. This rifle serves for the motherland during World War II. And it was a very fast firing gun, being nicknamed the Burp Gun for the town of Gunshire made. Now, a lot of people don't know where I actually hold it. Some people think it holds right here. No, that is going to burn your hand. Hand because there's no hand guard there. No, not right here either. You'll hold it by the magazine, so let's get a shoot in. And yeah guys, that was it. Peace out, subscribe, leave a like on the video, and bye!